attack again. Come on. Or there. Finally. That is like, God, this localization is like we have dire. The device driver for the sub weapon Wisp. If I'm falling, catch me with it. You can also pull a distant enemy closer to you. Here they come. I'll grab you and take you to the top. Let's go. Grab our jet and carry it to the top of the installation. To grab, press the circle button. Go with you two first. Working on it.
nothing on it. I'm gonna get to freaking what start part from rock please you safely. Whoa. How about that? Basically, Dingo, you were a dick and that nearly got her killed. Okay. I have truth and the hey, way of the world. Are. Okay. Yeah. Indeed. I can't believe that you've managed to survive till now. Well, it's just normal. Wait, I got a communication. What a troublemaker. A good match for you. Stop joking. <laughs> Sorry. But I have not been programmed to joke. You really are a funny computer, aren't you? Funny. <laughs> you and that kid Leo are far more of a perfect match. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> They've activated Almon. Let's hurry. Wait, I have to go someplace else first. What? We have no means to resist Anubis trickery. Anubis is far too speedy. Just a moment. I need a function to resist that. But... I'll ask Lloyd for his cooperation. He's a systems engineer for orbital frames. When I was a trainee, he took good care of me. Lloyd? He's an odd fellow. But his skills are supreme. Exactly. It was Lloyd who analyzed the battle strength of Anubis, but... It's good for us, then. Let's ask him to boost Jehuti's programming. You know the place? Ayers Cliff has a lab on the top. He's there. But you can be sure it's heavily protected. I'll guide you. Okay. Get in now. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Be a lot more comfortable if you know my life support wasn't depending on I wasn't depending on this. Sorry about that. Huh? I'm sorry. Hmm. Mm. Are you from Marineris? Uh yes. The northern part, Tharsis. It's far from the canyon. Did you volunteer for this duty? My father was also a soldier. Tharsis. So you were at the Olympus base? Yeah. Hey, why were you in Balrong? Some slogan fooled me into doing it. For the freedom and independence of Mars? It must have been a joke. The reality was just destruction and dictatorship. I often wondered about Noman's orders, though. But I couldn't get out of it until that crisis happened. You mean your final mission? They needed to take the Metatron to a lab on Jupiter, and we were an escort for them. And then? We escorted the Metatron to Antilia Colony. After completing the mission, we were heading back to the camp on Callisto. On the way, we encountered an enormous number of the Space Force. There were so many, they covered the horizon. They ambushed us. 
In those days, the orbital frame was still in the experimental stage. They were on the latest Earth-built model. We were on Lev's. There was an incredible performance difference between them and us. I asked for immediate reinforcements, but can you imagine how Noman answered me? Just give up, he said. He was smiling at the time. That was the very same Noman who leaked our situation to Earth. He let them ambush us. He killed my pals. He sold out his own unit? A sacrifice. Noman had already taken the Metatron without Earth's permission, so he needed to pretend that the mission had failed. My company had been abandoned. I threw myself wholeheartedly into the battle in order to encourage my pals. I told them reinforcements would arrive soon. When I came to, I realized the Space Force had already gone back. Every single one of my pals was completely destroyed. Some civilian workers in Callisto were killed too. I made up my mind not to return to Baram again. Ever. Didn't you want to avenge the deaths of your pals? What could I have done? You could have returned to Baram and risen in revolt. If you did, everyone would have been on your side. Noman had been trying to kill me. If I did go back, he would kill me. Actually, that's what happened. But... You saw it, didn't you? Even knowing Varam was wrong, you still agreed to work for Noman? Use power for the right things. At least for the things that you believe in. <laughs> so who's second hand? Huh? It's not easy, is it? But I'm... Forget it. Let's talk about it after all our work is done. But... We have no time, right? Around Lloyd's lab, there are some fixed rapid-fire weapons to prevent invasion. You must advance while steering clear of them. The area is strictly guarded. If anything, it's totally the old man's preference. Though it looks like an ordinary plane, there are plenty of armaments buried in the ground to fight off any invasion. We have only one route to get there. Listen to my instructions carefully and do exactly as I tell you. And if I drop on the way? You'll get a better tan than you can in an Elysium resort. Stop right here. At first, go straight. If you stray off the safe route, I'll point out the right direction. When you want to change direction, stop and turn there. You mean, I only change direction without moving? To change your direction, simply use the right stick. If I say stop, be sure to stop moving. Then wait for the next instruction. I see. Then let's go. Move forward in a straight line. Good. Move forward. All right, so I think I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.